Good evening, everybody. Tom Leahy, Optima Med. Glad you could join us today. Optima Med, as you know, is a higher education consulting firm. And one of the things we like to, to say is that we're all about helping a student find a way forward, no matter what their circumstances, no matter, no matter what their challenges. Um, but having said that, there are some things that we just cannot uh, handle because it is so specialized. And so I'm so pleased to have with us today Barbara or Spectrum Wise, who really specializes in helping students that are on the autism spectrum, because that really is a very special situation. So thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. So let's start out by talking about um, functionality, I guess. You know, there's, there's a wide range. When we talk about autism, and that's the spectrum, right? So right. there's a wide range of functionality when we talk about a uh, student on, on the, the spectrum. So how does a parent? determine if their child is even able to entertain going to college? Yeah, so we look at a couple of things, you know, how are they doing in high school? Are they um, getting a regular advanced diploma? Um, you know, what is their GPA? Can they handle a standardized test? Um, what is their SAT, ACT score? It's kind of the, in, in terms of the entry into college, it's the same um, parameters as a neurotypical child. Okay, good. Well, uh, and, and so it, 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 it but there's, there's like, um, like daily activities too, right? Yeah. So the, the challenge, the challenge with a lot of the students that mm -hmm. I work with is not getting into college. Right. It's staying in college. There you go. Okay. Because the skills you need to be successful in, in college are not just academic. They go way beyond academics. You need a lot of skills to be successful on a college campus. Right. So that's really where the challenge comes in when we're talking about uh, a functional a uh, student who is autistic is 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 not the academics and not the intellect, but it's the it's it's the daily function. Yeah, so there's a lot of things. I mean, some things can be um, impact uh, um, academics in terms of executive functioning, being able to manage time, being able to plan for the future, um, maybe even study skills. Um, you know, every every college in the country has um, a uh, disabilities office. In which the student can get the accommodations, but those are very few. And IEP yeah. does not transfer from high school to the college ah. campus. Um, so you know the, the supports are very a, a lot lower right. than they are in um, because it, you fall into a different yeah. law, basically. Sure. Um, and so yeah, the uh, so the challenges can be academic, but um, they're often in the realms of um, social skills, independent living skills, um, self advocacy. Um, the ability, like I said, executive functioning. Um, yeah, yeah, these are these are some of the challenges. So, what what questions should uh, a parent ask when they're looking at colleges for their their child that's on the spectrum? Well, so uh, I think a parent should ask about um, the supports that the school has. There are about sixty autism specific on campus college support uh, programs. Um, there's the the demand is outweighing the need right now. Sure. Um, you know, there, there are imagine. thousands and thousands of students on the autism spectrum going to college and more every year. So, um, you know, I look for schools that are going to have the supports that the student needs to be successful in the other realms outside of academics. Well, that's, I'm, I'm glad you said, because my next question was going to be, well, how does spectrum wise and, and how do you, Barbara, help uh, families? Yeah. So what, um, the first thing I do is, is an individual assessment to see, um, you know, what skills the student might be lacking. Um, not every student's the same, so, you know, we, it's very individualized. And then not only do we work on placement, help with, you know, the, the um, application and the essay and all that stuff, but also we work a tremendous amount on preparation. And that preparation crosses what a neurotypical student would um, do also. Like, you know, we, we want to make sure they're getting up on their own that we want to make sure that um, they know how to do their laundry. They know how to feed themselves, that, you know, a balanced diet, that sort of thing. But we also look at things like, um, do you know when to turn off the computer and get enough sleep, right? Yeah. Um, do you know how to advocate for yourself? Do you yeah. know what you need? Do you know how autism affects you? And are you able to, to um, verbalize that and tell someone else so that you can get the help you need? So there's a lot of preparation that goes into um, preparing a student for life on campus and um, that often takes a year or maybe two because like any skill you have to practice it in order to be uh, successful. 
and it, it's always uh, a good idea to have an expert on, on your team when when you're when you're dealing with this. So how do how do how do parents get in touch with you, Barbara? Yeah, so you can look at my website. Um, it's spectrum-wise, W-I-S-E dot com, or give me a call at 804-554-6617. Look forward to speaking to you. Great. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks, um, if you have any questions, obviously reach out to Barbara, or if you want to reach out to OptimaMed and, and talk about your child who perhaps isn't on the autism spectrum, but needs help. We're, we're here uh, waiting for you to, to reach out. So thank you very much. Have a great afternoon, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Well, that was easy.